What's up, Bombies? It's your girl, Bombshell, back with another video. We're about to get into Bill Burr on being white. So let's get into it. Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you. I'm just checking in on you. Um, seeing how you're doing, seeing how your week's going, getting adjusted, trying to get comfortable here on the bed. Mm -hmm. um, white people. This is, oh, God, we're going to get into the race shit. Are we really going to get into the race shit here? Okay, white people. Oh, Billy Ambassador. I'm sure, I'm sure you addressed the current events at the top of the po this podcast. I, I skipped over most of it, as you may have heard. I just sort of trashed Trump for not having the fucking humanity to trash, you know, some of the dumbest people on the planet, you know. And actually blaming the people that they attack also I, I just don't fucking get it um he goes i'm pretty moderate and have the same ron paul ideas about government as you seem to have uh sorry about the generations trying to keep it tight yeah dude i don't even know what the fuck i believe anymore he said i watched my facebook feed all day denounce white people all right first of all why would you go on a facebook feed are you trying to depress yourself are you trying to make yourself upset why would you go on there? What did you do next? Did you go on Twitter and look up hashtag white people so you can infuriate yourself more and right. get an even more um, like delusional view of what the population is like? You know? I don't know. I mean, if you watched all that shit about the Klansmen, you'd think that every white person was in the Klan. I mean, it's just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyways, plowing mm -hmm. ahead here. Uh... He says, uh, I look white, but I'm first generation American with my parents coming from Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're Italian. Okay, I get it. All right. My policy on making general statements about entire races is I don't. In stereotypes, sure, white people love things like jar jams, but in criticism, I never say white people or black people because if history has taught us anything, it's the dumbest thing you period. <laughs> I think he meant to say the dumbest thing you can do. He goes, I'm tired of it. All day, mm -hmm. white people this, white people that. I voted for Barack the first time. I hate Nazis, and it's fucking pathetic that I have to say that out loud. I think Trump is a cunt. I hated Hillary. I don't wish for the South to rise again. I'm not offended as a white person. I'm just tired of the laziness of it. Am I way off here? Uh... Look, I know what you're saying, but dude, it's like, is this the worst thing you have to deal with? You got to expect people in a highly emotional state, all right? Such as this, you know, when you're in a highly emotional state, you, you're going to say stuff in a way that you wouldn't if you were a little more relaxed. And then secondly, if you're going to fucking mm -hmm. go on a Facebook feed and get upset, I don't have any sympathy for you. Like, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a Facebook feed. There's no, the qualifications to comment on Facebook is you have to be smart enough to sign up for Facebook. That's it. So that's what, you, it's not a think tank. It's not a TED right. talk. Which even those things I'm starting to think are just a fucking bunch of snake oil salesmen. Everybody mm -hmm. acting like something fucking amazing is happening, you know, because somebody's up there with a laser pointer talking about the future. Um, yeah, I mean, all right. I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. There are times where I'll see, like, these people being applauded for shit that they're saying. And when I'm listening to what they're saying, it's like, if you took out white people there and then you inserted black people like that and that person was white, they would be in trouble. However, however, you do have to take it with a grain of fucking salt because of the great fucking life that you have. All right? And um, I don't know. I, th I think you should maybe try. I would try to listen more to what the overall point is rather than right. wasting time being offended. You know, I'm a white guy. My fucking life is great. You know? I can pretty much go wherever the fuck I want to go. I go down to the mall. I buy a T-shirt. Nobody fucks with me. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's easy. But, I mean, compared to what other people, compared to what other people fucking have, I guess this is the best, you know, this is the inside lane, you know? I could fucking look the other way, but there's definitely days, I'll, I'll say this, there's definitely days that, you know, 
non-white people say some shit or like you know women will say stuff about men being like that's is so fucking overtly fucking sexist mm -hmm. and not only are you not being called out on it you're being applauded for it like you're brave and what you're saying is just as fucking ignorant as what the fuck you're doing however mm -hmm. at the end of it I, you kind of got to be like well because of what's happening they're so fucking pissed like I, I give it a little bit like I just I give it a little depending on my mood um, I do that but um all right, you know what the honest thing is? Is if I'm sitting there and the person who isn't white says it, I'll get into a debate with them, all right? But if I'm with all white people and they're complaining about it, I'll tell them to shut the fuck up. I think I'm just a contrarian. It all depends. Um, I don't fucking know. But all I do, all I know is after watching all that fucking horrible shit, yeah, I just think, you know, there's, there's a certain level of empathy that uh, you should try to tap into. Try to put yourself in other people's positions mm -hmm. a little bit more. And um, I don't know, I guess to try to compensate for the astounding level of fucking ignorance that's out there, I guess you got to try to make yourself an even better person or somehow. I don't know. No. I don't know what to tell you, because I'll be honest with you is when all people go, hey, I'm not in a fucking um, <clears throat> not in the Klan. I'm not a Nazi guy. I'm not I don't belong to a hate group, blah, 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 and all that shit. Everybody has their fucking issues. And when you're a comedian, it's like you're running for office. It's like you run this campaign mm -hmm. that never fucking stops. And you're meeting people like I was just in Red Bank, I New think Jersey. That now people should stop answering to things that don't have anything to do with them. If someone is complaining about um, a situation, you know you're not that kind of person. It should be easier for you to understand. You know, you shouldn't be offended when people be like, oh, Women are whores or women do this one. I don't get offended. I don't start trying to defend people or defend myself. I just feel like they ain't talking to me. You know, I'm not, <laughs> the message isn't towards me. So I think that if you're not for that, you don't, you know, feel that way about yourself and that's not you. If they're discussing it, there's no need to involve yourself. Unless you're going to be like, yes, I do know that people like that are around, do exist. Glad I'm not one of those sucks that's it but everybody be answering to shit that they swear ain't got nothing to do with them if you swear it ain't got nothing to do with you if you know you're a good man you shouldn't be offended by women saying certain men are bad if you know you are a good woman you shouldn't be mad when men say women are this or that if you know that you're a good black person or a good you know white person you shouldn't be offended when people are talking about this that, and third because rather it applies to you it exists the problem comes when you try to make it seem like the shit don't exist it's not people being emotional. Some people are too emotional, but some people are trying to uh, make you feel black people that they're delusional about what's going on, what's been going on. No one's delusional. People have to understand the, uh, you know, the situation. What's the challenge? What's the real obstacle? So they can defeat it. If every, if you don't know who your opponent is, you do not, you do not know how to defeat them. You must know the truth, but be at peace with the truth. That where you can conquer the truth. But don't make people feel like they're delusional. If it's not for you, if, if they're not talking about you, even if, you know what I'm saying, I don't answer the shit that I'm not guilty of. Chill. But people have a problem with that. Everybody swear they're so smart and they want somebody else to be smart and don't bring up any of this because I'm not that type of person. And most likely they're not even saying you are. They're probably just speaking about it in general and you're answering to it. Well, if you were that intelligent, you would feel, well, they're not talking to me. No need for me to get to rallying up because if you can speak on something, that's because it's exist in your world damn let me listen okay damn that ain't how we are over here yes it's still, you're supposed to be smart no you're emotional too and they're emotional and y'all just battling each other and y'all battling the wrong people you know you're not a bad white person black people saying that some white people do this today why are y'all two arguing <laughs> he they not talking about you stay out of fights that don't got nothing to do with you just have an open ear have an open heart be like damn yeah Black people do be tripping. Like, I know black people be tripping. I ain't going to be like, no, they're not. They're wrong. wrong is wrong. Right is right. But you got to stop thinking that you're smarter than you actually are emotionally. And people are not because they're in their feelings too. Caucasians are in their feelings when black people are talking about white people. But, you know, it's not all of y'all. We know this. I know this. So just don't answer to that. Just like people be putting this uh, stereotypes on black women, black men. Don't answer to it. You don't have to get offended and rally up. I don't defend anything that I'm not. Okay, 
I chill. I try to get both sides. I understand this, I understand that. But I do be knowing that people aren't emotionally as intelligent as they want to be. They don't want you to say anything. Oh, you say how you feel. You're not supposed to say how you feel. That means you're fucking stupid. Say how you feel. Say how they feel. If you don't agree, you don't agree. You ain't going through that. You're not going through that. If you're not that type of person, it's not your character. Hey, you see, should be even more understanding. But you coming from a... Um, People have Agent Smiths, like on Matrix, that pops up when certain conversations that are instilled in programming people for them to stop, you know, conversations from coming together. You can come together if you stop saying, I'm um, going through this, my people, my people going through, just whoa, whoa, whoa. The proper um, conversation that should be had is, oh yeah, really? Damn. Da, 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 da. You feel for them? Hear them. Hearing me responding. Okay, to what they said, not to what you want to say and how you feel. Then after you heard them, they feel heard. Then you can say, well, you know some of our problems? Da -da 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 -da. Then they'll feel more open and would listen to you because you listen to them. But people swear they're smart and I just be like, oh, be quiet. But let's get back to the video. This is a great video. Run this campaign that never fucking stops. And you're meeting people like I was just in Red Bank, New Jersey. Now I'm in Tarrytown. Now I'm going to go to fucking L.A. You know, the end of the month, I'm going to be in Boston and New Hampshire. Then I'm going to be in Mississippi and Alabama. Um, am I really promoting my upcoming dates, talking about racism? Look at me. Next thing, I should have Bobby Flay reading this. Um, <clears throat> but the point is, is, I'm going to meet all these fucking people. And um, I don't know. i got to be honest with you. Everywhere I go, no matter where I'm at, when I'm in a room and it's just all white guys of a certain age my generation and older you can literally take a fucking i swear to god like one of those sands of time timers and just go okay when is the n-word coming i'm trying to remember i'm trying to remember the last time that you know it doesn't happen every time but i go in there i literally start having anxiety going oh god you know i look around and what i'm doing is i'm judging too and I'm like, when's it coming? Someone's going to fucking say it or someone's going to say something a little borderline. Um, and it's depressing. Like I was hanging uh, recently on a road gig and it was all white dudes in there. And Mayweather accused McGregor of saying something racist. And McGregor's going, ah, you know, I didn't fucking say anything racist, blah, 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 and all this type of shit, right? And then this random white guy is watching it. He goes, yeah, man, what the, what's the big deal? He's like, this guy's an N-word and that guy's whitey. I mean, it's a fight. Who gives a fuck what you say? And I'm just, I'm just thinking in my head, like, dude, they're not saying he said that. Like, like, but that is like, that's how his fucking brain processed that information. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's so fun. It's depressing. Because you know what it is? Everybody thinks they're smart. And everybody thinks they have it figured out. You know what I mean? Real. Think about When is the last time you... I mean, sometimes your conscious gets to you. But does your brain really ever say... Like, uh... I mean, it takes a lot to fucking admit that you're wrong. Regardless of color, sex, or anything. You'd be like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I was mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I now realize how fucking ignorant. That, that takes a... And to truly mean it. Mm -hmm. Not to just get on the good side of your wife again so she'll bang you, right? To truly fucking sincerely mean it and then try to... That would mean God is in you. Okay? He dwells in you. If you can know when you're wrong and mean when you are wrong and sorry and have compassion. Okay? When you don't have any of that and you don't care about what people say and how they feel, people are like, we're grown, we're grown. Doesn't matter. We still are human. Being human is part of feeling. You shouldn't want to offend people. Not on purpose. And if you do, apologize genuinely. To make a change. It takes a fucking lot. And uh, for anybody. So, I don't know. So, I've gone through things like, you know, if somebody does says that, what do I do? Do I fucking confront them? Do I get into the fucking debate? I've tried every fucking technique. Do I get up and walk out? Every fucking technique. Nothing works. Nothing. Nothing fucking works. Um, and it's depressing. So I try to avoid that social mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right.
Maybe that's what I'll do in the future. Mm, Maybe that's what I'll do in the future. Um, anyways, that was like a time where the, I don't remember where the fuck I was when I was in, I was in Durham, North Carolina, and that fucking guy goes, you know, Bill, I like you, you know? You're a good person, you know? You know, Bill? He goes, I like meeting good people. And I was like, oh, God, here it comes. I like meeting good people. He's, he's testing the waters. He's sticking his toe in. You know, Christian, good Christian people, white people, and then boom, the fucking N-word comes. So and that guy headed off at the pass. He said, you know, Bill, I, I, I like meeting good people. And I was just like, oh, yeah, do you? You know, I like meeting bad people. Who the fuck doesn't like meeting good people? And then he, right. then he shut up. Then he shut up, and then he got really mad at me. You know, when I was talking about, you know, I don't know, like the Middle East or something like that. And I was just going like, dude, they, you know, they're like us. You know what I mean? They got a couple of crazy fucking leaders. And then everybody else, there's a bunch of you and me walking around there trying to get a sandwich. You know? You and I were trying to get the fucking, uh, the NBA package. And they're trying to, whatever fucking sport. What, what sport are they into over there? Soccer, right? Everybody's into the fucking soccer. Um, anyways. So, yeah, I don't know. I understand, you know, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't I don't have any fucking answers. I don't fucking know. All right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Black people, what I like to say is don't get offended. You know, of course, saying the N word is very disrespectful. OK, but just be happy that people are showing you who they are. When people say that, that's not supposed to say that. I'm not upset. I'm just like, well, I'm glad to know who I'm dealing with. Be happy that people are being themselves. You know how to deal with their ass, okay? Simple as that. And if you know you ain't a bad person, you know you're a good Caucasian. We love y'all. We love all good people. You know, just stop getting into stuff if you're not guilty of it. I'm not guilty of things. I don't get upset when men bash women, okay? I will defend certain, you know, topics, but I'm not like, oh, I'm a good one. The proof is in the pudding. You know what I mean? Okay, so you know who you are. Stay who you are. Be good. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye, zombies.